I think a lot of people are afraid of death. There's always still that underlying fear that everyone has as to, you know, is, there, is it going to be painful or, you know, scary or, or how am I going to die? So it's the mystery of the unknown that scares people, I think. To understand how many Americans deal with their dead, there may be no better place to visit than the oldest embalming school in the U.S., the Cincinnati College of Mortuary Science, or CCMS. Since 1882, generation after generation of morticians in training have come to CCMS to become experts in the American rituals of death and burial. My friends, when I told them that I was going into the funeral business, they all just kind of give me the same look, like, you want to work with dead people? <laughs> Erica Kaiser's uncle owns a funeral home where she worked during college. There's just so many ghost stories and misconceptions about the, the field that and people are just too afraid to find out what it's all about. All cultures have ways of handling dead bodies, but most American Christians don't realize that how they treat their dead makes them different from nearly every other culture in the world. America is one of the few places where corpses are routinely embalmed. American funeral directors know that their clients want the dead to look as they did in life. I think in the eyes of a family, they want to see their loved one in a very natural, peaceful state. In the U.S., the goal of embalmers is not just to disguise death's pallor, but to stop its inevitable destruction in its tracks. This body, donated to the school, is already decomposing. But Erica and her classmates will stop the decay for as long as a few years by injecting the corpse with several gallons of a chemical preservative based on formaldehyde. This American practice of routinely embalming the dead would be taboo in many other cultures. Even in mortuary school, embalming is practically a ritual with clearly defined steps. First, the body is cleaned and prepped. Mouth closure is crucial to get that very natural. Next, the embalmers locate the blood vessel into which they will pump the formaldehyde solution. And you have to work your way through that. You can go ahead and cut the artery. As the embalming fluid enters the body, it displaces the blood, which escapes through an incision, usually in the jugular vein. Almost immediately, the corpse begins to harden. This may seem like a process dreamed up by a mad scientist, but in reality, embalming has deep historical and religious roots. In America, embalming arose not from a quest for immortality, but from perhaps the nation's greatest tragedy, the Civil War. Modern embalming techniques had just been invented when hundreds of thousands of young men began dying on battlefields far from home. For the first time, soldiers' families could request that the bodies of their sons and husbands be preserved and returned for burial. There were many who welcomed the new technique as a godsend. Many Christians saw embalming as a perfect fit with their religious beliefs, in which the body and the spirit would be reunited at the resurrection. As diverse as the rituals we practice, to honor the dead, to heal our grief, we're united in our need to mark this most final of all life's passages and to attempt to make sense of what must remain a mystery.